Hello folks, right, Gary GSF and uh, we're off on our travels again, nothing too exotic this time, we're going across to Spain, just a Costa del Sol, our usual spot in Montemar near Torremolinos. So uh, we're going for 18 nights, so uh, I, I plan to have the camera with me quite a bit of the time, so you'll maybe get to see plenty of it this time, but uh, uh, so well, onward, we'll head for our flight. Right, at the airport again and uh, all looking good, the flight looks to be on time. Still working at it as you can see from the background, uh, but uh, it's, uh, it's still very much the same inside as what, what it has been, but uh, they're getting on rightly with it. Maybe by the time we're coming again, uh, we'll, we'll see a difference. Right, just in the, the lagging bar, uh, our usual pit stop, uh, waiting for the flight to be shown, and that's going to be another 35 minutes, 40 minutes, so uh, we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll then. So all, all going smoothly and swimming like so let's uh, hope it stays that way. Yeah, that's a reception and uh, just in tw towards reception I saw Timor. As you can see, it's quite a big building. Uh, there's several of them, so uh, we're in block two. Now, this is a reception area. Um, nice and quiet at the moment, but can be busy. It was quite busy when we arrived. So. Okay, welcome to room 2409. So, as you come in through the door, I've just walked in through the door, you have this little kitchen area. A uh, couple of rings to cook on, toaster, microwave, fridge, freezer. Now you would say that you're missing a kettle, but uh, we'll show you where that is. So, plenty of cutlery and um, and little dishes and things like that. On the other side, you have the bathroom. Nice walk-in shower. Of course, the throne and sink. Now we've used it, but it's spotlessly clean. Um, good hair dryer and all. For well, not that I needed, as you as you can see. So, into the, the bedroom. This is a one bedroom um, what, Puerto Marina uh, view. So that's the two beds, well, they're pushed together for us. Okay, we have wardrobe space. And your little rack for your case. And then a view out to the marina. Okay, we'll go into the living area now. And this is just going to be a quick run over. In my case, of because it opens up that way, it has to lie there. But uh, that'll be empty in the morning. We've just arrived. You've got a, a sofa bed, but we'll just use that as a sofa. Nice little coffee table, sideboard, and uh, quite a big one. Well, it looks like a 42 or 48 inch TV. It's quite a fair size. Then you have your dining table. And then you come out to the balcony couple of chairs and then a bit of a look around. That's the Sol house over there. Uh, that's our pool and as you can see where the wheel is going around there that's the marina and this gets the sun most of the day. Uh, I know this angle so it gets it most of, the, most of the day. All you could ever want. Uh, we're here for 18 nights so it needs to be well equipped for us but it is and also it's service. So, uh, We'll uh, head on out and Cross take it from the Salt Timor. This is what I call it. Right? So starting at the top there, there's Doyle's, Pat Murphy's uh, that we go to, Anna's uh, snack bar, uh, John, we know that actually owns that, lovely, Molly Maguire's Hill 16, and then comes down past Finca's chip shop, and then uh, the Fat Fajita. On this side, you have McGuinness's and Paddy Wax, and then a snack bar in between there. So. That's uh, rather a few more uh, food places and uh, there's Henny's where we get a breakfast regular and foodies we have, haven't been in it. Toby's uh, owned by Allison, lovely place. And uh, on down, there used to be Rumours which is now uh, McCarthy's. And then on down to our favourites but we'll get to that. Right across the road there we've got Brian's and Tahiti's, uh, they're uh, two nice, nice uh, people that, that have them. Brown's is uh, John and Anne and uh, 
it's uh, famous for two season thirty for bingo. <laughs> we'll go in and have a beer before we have um, <laughs> before the bingo starts. And Tahiti opens at four o'clock, uh, and up through to about about one, and uh, that's owned by uh, um, Jane and Michael. <laughs> There's me forgetting the names, but uh, there you go. Right, well, just up from uh, the road opposite the uh, Salt Timor is a little supermarket, very handy for provisions. Now, this is only five minutes' walk, so it's uh, rather good, uh, and it is uh, very reasonable. When you go home, you think a little supermarket is uh, expensive. Right, well, this is uh, the terrace on um, the Salt Timor. And as you can see, there's a lovely big queue for the bar. I've never seen it like this, and the, re the resort is actually uh, quite busy. So, uh, yeah, quite entertaining. Maybe we're getting a recovery from COVID, so uh, there you go. Plenty of people about. A little bit of yoga instruction, uh, just in the, in the uh, grounds there. Not for me, but uh, <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it. It's all Timor and you're in the quite nice district. You have a look just to your right here, you've got Mulligans. Across the road you've Father O'Malley's. Lovely breakfast in there. That's probably my favourite breakfast in this place. And then we're going to go up to the Irish Hill as I would affectionately call it. And uh, it's just full of Irish bars and uh, in St Patrick's Day there'll be lots and lots of shenanigans going on. We're going past McGuinness's. Uh, music on night all the time here. Yeah. And then we're going up. That's a snack bar. And then we're past Paddy Wax, so music and all. So I'm just going to have to keep talking. So across the other side of the street, we've got Doys. Ever popular. <coughs> apparently, great food. Uh, not tried it yet, but apparently so. <laughs> Walk down to uh, where you going? And now past Father Murphy's or Pat Murphy's. I'm just when I saw that guy there, I thought Father Murphy's was Pat Murphy's and uh, great pub. And then on down past Alice Snack Food Bar. You <laughs> didn't, did you? A couple more ice pubs, Molly McGuire's. How you doing? I'm Hill 16. There's uh, plenty of good, good bits for today. <laughs> and then I'm down to the corner for Pat Perry. For good food and uh, a bit of karaoke. <laughs> As you can see, we've got a, a mist that's come through. It just rolled in, you can see it's coming from the sea. Still warm though. Right, on Wednesday the 20th, there was being forecasting rain all day, which didn't arrive. But we're into the 21st now, around about 1.30 in the morning, and the rain has arrived. The sea has whipped up a little bit. But you're not going to see that in this this uh, this light. But the rain's here, so uh, we'll see how that develops. And uh, there there is weather warnings for uh, heavy rain and wind, so um, we'll keep you updated. Well, our little bit of rain that was supposed to turn into a, a storm uh, didn't amount to much. It's a little bit hazy today, but uh, it's not too bad. So uh, well, um, we can live with that hazy sunshine. Great. Now, I don't know if you can see this in the video. If you look at the clouds over there, there's this light of grey with a blue hint. If you have a look at uh, this side, it's, there's like an orange hint tinge to it. And that's the Sahara dust coming in from from North Africa, from over by Morocco. Now, we arrived in Morocco one time before, and it's a, a whole storm of this stuff. So, uh, there you go. Maybe be able to show you later with some of the cars covered in this dust. As you can see, it's got 
uh, very hazy there. Hopefully the white balance hasn't changed that because it does look really red and uh, that's, that's not, a, not a nice look. So uh, that is uh, all the dust has come in. I'll show you some of the cars later. <laughs> well, accompanying the, uh, the sand there, as you can see, the, the sea's whipping up. I would uh, suggest we're maybe be looking at a little bit of a storm coming in. Um, so uh, we'll see. That's, uh, the sea has got very rough. Now it's still calm winds here, but uh, there had been forecasts for yesterday for high high winds and, and lots of rain. So I think it's on its way. We had a funny incident uh, today. We were looking from our balcony out to sea. And unfortunately, I didn't have a camera going at the time, but I spotted this fin, and uh, there was a guy had just gone in swimming. Now he was straight out like a rocket, and uh, <laughs> we saw the fin surfacing again. And uh, on the third time the fin surfaced, and you could see the blowhole, it was actually a dolphin. The guy thought it was a shark. It was so funny. We were sitting laughing on our balcony, but unfortunately, um, it had for had gone on further than what our uh, balcony could show but uh, it was a funny end. Well as you can see we're still in the middle of the, the sand and uh, my boys are trying to clean it up but uh, I think that's going to be a losing battle today. But it didn't rain, it just brought sand uh, in the air and we've still got the sand about today. Right, we're looking at angry skies at the moment. This is uh, 14 days in. And that looks a little bit like uh, there's a bit of a precipitation in the air. So, uh, oh well, we'll roll with it, as they say. This, today is a bit of a sad one. Our friend will, will come out here and meet every time we come out. And over from the 17 years, it's a sad day. He passed away uh, this morning, 26th of March. Peter Hall, Peter James Hall. Uh, good lad, plenty of crack, good bander, and uh, uh, always made loads of time for us. Uh, has passed away. Unfortunately, cancer got him. But uh, we'll. we'll uh, We'll take a tribute to him tonight. We'll have a little glass and uh, and uh, remember our friend. But uh, rest in peace, Peter. Uh, we'll always be thinking about you. Yeah, well, uh, this is our final full day. Uh, tomorrow is just uh, taking up my traveling. And uh, the weather has turned uh, not the nastiest, but uh, wet and windy. And uh, I think this is to be last for another week from what I, what I can gather from the locals. So uh, we're, we're escaping at the right time, although we're not going back to much better, or, or it's probably going to be worse, but sure it doesn't really matter. You can't do anything with the weather. So we'll have a fabulous time here. Um, 18 nights, we've had a great length of time, and uh, you, you, do, you don't go out every night. You just uh, you know, you take every other night or every third night, or just whatever suits yourself, and you don't rest yourself, and uh, uh, it's, it's so much handier and so much nicer. So we'll do this sort of length of time again. The only downside we've had from this this trip is by a friend of ours out here died, uh, Peter Hall, who was a really good entertainer out here. He, he was a, a neat diamond tribute artist and uh, uh, did good shows. But uh, uh, it's, that's sad, but uh, it didn't attract, detract too much from our prediction. And, uh, so uh, until the next time, uh, I'll give you a run up, run down when we get back to the the house, like the back home of the year on down of uh, the pluses and minuses and different things. From our 18 night trip to uh, Montemar uh, and Tormelinos, uh, Costa del Sol, and we had a fabulous time. Uh, 18 nights seemed to be perfect for us, and we didn't go out every night uh, as we normally do when we go on holiday for six or five or seven nights. We'll go out every night, but, but uh, we didn't feel so we're missing out. We had a great time. Uh, the weather for the first um, for the first 14 days was uh, absolutely great. We got absolutely great weather. The last four days it broke and uh, we had rain and showers and well it turned out pretty nasty. Um, there was actually our flight was delayed it had to be diverted. Uh, well not diverted had to fly around a storm but um, that 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 was was okay it wasn't even a little, well it turned out to be an hour it's not not a great deal. Our 
the apartment, the Sol Timor apartments, now that's a great location, it's right in the place where we want to be, so, and uh, you'll have seen from the video, the view from it was fabulous, uh, now that wasn't a, a basic apartment, that was one that uh, had a, what they called a, a Puerto Marina view, um, but I'd say it had a sea view as well, so it's not just a marina you were seeing, and uh, it was great, and I had the sun on it all day. Um, the apartment itself, now, we'll go with the good on it, was serviced every day, every two days, and the beds were changed every four days. So that was great. Uh, the cleanliness couldn't be couldn't be faulted. The size of the apartment was just just perfect for us. Downside, the 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 kitchen units were really well. Had, let's say they were thrown together, or had seen a lot of abuse. Uh, the one of the cupboards, the, the main the base of the the, the units had uh, been cracked and it, it, it made it a little bit wobbly and the other side the, the leg uh, seemed to have been moved out a bit and made it a bit wobbly there was only there was only two rings to cook with uh, so, but there was a microwave and toaster and things like that um, that I could have done with an oven like a, a small oven would be would really just finish that off but uh, so we, we, we managed okay um, no, the funny thing was, on the first week, um, it took in, it came up, to, we went on the Monday, and it was Cheltenham week, and the, the, the whole, there's a lot of Irish bars, and the place was filled with uh, Irish people over to watch the horse racing on TV. So, ironic that uh, the Irish people go to Spain to watch an English horse race, it just, uh, it stunned me, you know, but uh, that was quite funny, then St Patrick's Day, but there was more people there for um, for the Cheltenham week than it was for St Patrick's Day, St Patrick's Day is actually quite good out there, and there, there is a parade and all from the, the park up in Bemo Madna, so uh, absolutely fine, uh, and then I, I, after that it got quite quiet, and it was, it was, it was perfect for us. Uh, we found our, our new favourite favorite pub there, it was McCarthy, so owned by John and Sarah. John uh, was there more, most, more than Sarah, but uh, they're both lovely people. John's, uh, they're, they're, they're from Cork uh, originally, and uh, a really good time. Also went up into Styles, um, Styles and Music Bar, the, the karaoke bar was uh, there, it was good fun too. But um, any questions? Please ask me down below and I'll be glad to, to fill you in what there was. And uh, and thanks so much for watching this video. It, it uh, always helps. If you liked it, please hit a like. It uh, helps up the world go round. Uh, if you really like it and want to see some more, hit a subscribe. But least of all, uh, thank you for watching. This is Gary GSF signing off. Until the next time. Bye for now.